Zelzali is on autonomy and referendum of Bougainville. What is autonomy? Auto, auto means self for so. Right, so, so, auto, auto, mobile, automatic, uh, self, so, so it is self governance. And then, referendum. What is referendum? Referendum is a decision or choice you make. So we saw the problem crisis, how it started, the background to it, and then how it started. And the crisis, the effects of the problem crisis. Then the last session we saw the, the sand loan crisis. Okay, by the way, let's go back uh, to some uh, few revision questions. When did the problem crisis start? What year? What? Um, 1990. 19? 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. A new Lennon Association. And what's the name of the new Lennon Association? Pangona Lennon Association. For a P L A Association, but more of all. The Pangona Lennon Association was formed in 1979. And another new, what's it called? New Pangona Lennon Association. What year? 1992. 19... So it was a, the former one, Panguna Lennon Association, <coughs> not do well by negotiating a good negotiation with the, uh, the government and the mining company. Therefore, the young ones, the likes of Francis Sona, form a new Panguna Lennon Association. And it was a very aggressive one that asked for, uh, for good, uh, asked for and demand government and the company for the compensation for the damage done to the environment. Then they went in 1989 from a rebel group. What's the name of the rebel group called? Uh, BC. A rebel group. BRA. BRA. BRA stands for Bougainville Revolutionary <laughs> Army. Army. Then, you know, the crisis. Uh, the BRA, BRA fought with the government of Papua New Guinea as well as the government of. Australia. How oh, the Australian government took part, as I said, took part in the Bougainville uh, conflict? By flying them, uh, helicopter, by training our soldiers to fight against the BRA, the Bougainville Army. Okay, that was the crisis. The crisis was a 10 year crisis. And however, in order to put the end to the crisis, the governor of Sir Julius Chain was the prime minister. What, what did he do in 1996 and into 1997? Uh, he signed an agreement with Sunline International Chief Executive Tim Spicer. All right, he signed an agreement with uh, the Sunline International uh, Missionaries to come and fight against of the Bougainvilleans, even capture or kill them, in order to accept of him signing agreement with uh, the Sunline International. What was the agreement? Yeah. Or why did he uh, invite, try to invite the uh, Bougainville Revolution, uh, the Sunline International to come? To? Regain the mine. Stop the violence and stop the conflict and regain the Panguna mine so that Panguna mine will bring revenue into the Panguna economy. And that, uh, that was the main reason that we uh, negotiate 
for Sand Line International to come in. And what was the contract international, uh, the contract that was signed? How, how much was the government of Power Negri that we had will give to the Sand Line International? Uh, 30 million US dollars. 30 million US dollars. Sorry, 30 million US dollars. <coughs> <clears throat> what was another condition that in the, in the, in the contract that was signed to give a say in the Panguna mine to the international, uh, the Sand Line International, Sand Line international. That was the agreement that was signed. However, the Sand Line International was removed by the mobilization of uh, soldiers, of NGOs, or student groups by Say, uh, by retired army general at the time, he was army general, Jerry Seagull. So uh, they had to remove the uh, Central International. With that, and then they brought a normal sea, there was peace agreement signed, ceasefire, and the national organization like the United Nations came into uh, Balkanville to organize for normal sea, peace, and to encourage the autonomy. Okay, now we'll uh, discuss what autonomy and referendum is. The North Solomon Province in Papua New Guinea, before Bougainville, it was called the North Solomon Province. So the North Solomon Province in Papua New Guinea changed their name to Autonomous Government of Bougainville, that is ATB. After a pro prolonged 10 year civil war, known as the Bougainville Crisis between uh, the Papua New Guinea government and peaceful forces including uh, soldiers and our police force, our, our police prisoners, uh, the right squad. Against the uh, Bogan Williams, the rebel group called BRA, Bogan Revolutionary Army. After the 10 years bloody civil war, the international agency, such as United Nations, in the way, and as I said, as I explained, is for make a ceasefire, an agreement was negotiated. In that negotiation and peace settlement, Bogdan was given the status of autonomous region. Autonomous region, autonomy means self-governance, self-governance. It is called autonomous region of Bogdan So for Ten to uh, for five to ten, uh, five to ten years, they have this autonomous region. So they have the uh, president, like a president for the autonomous region of Bougainville, until uh, they have the uh, referendum. So let's come to the referendum for Bougainville. Okay, it is, okay, let's uh, come to a uh, referendum. It is illegal requirement of the United Nations. How many organs of the United Nations that we saw? Let's go back to the next one. Organs. How many organs of the United Nations that we saw? Seven. Seven. All right, there's seven organs of the United Nations organization. And one of the organs is Trusteeship Council. Trusteeship Council. What's the main responsibility of Trusteeship Council in the United Nations? Uh, to mandate territories. To mandate territories. Okay, to facilitate and negotiate for decolonization of countries, groups, try to break away and get a bit autonomy or independence. For their country. So, the main responsibility of the Council is to facilitate independence or uh, decolonization of territories and making to be autonomous or uh, uh, independent from the motherland or mother country. You must be autonomous. So, that's a requirement that you must be autonomous for 10 to 15 years before independence is given to a particular uh, territory or uh, nation. Okay, for instance, in Bougainville. In Bougainville, in this case, secret autonomy status 
in the year 2005, 2005 six, And by 2019, or yeah, 2019 or 2020, the United Nations through uh, just the country from the Papua New Guinea and from that a specific election, it's called a referendum for Boko Williams to decide whether to remain as an autonomous between Papua New Guinea or vote for independence and depart from Papua New Guinea to be their sovereign independent state. Of course, that was done last year. The United Nations through the Russian Council came and conducted the uh, votes, there's a type of vote called referendum for Boko Williams in Papua New Guinea and abroad to decide whether to get independence or to create autonomy, to stay a part of Papua New Guinea. This was done uh, last year. Uh, when you come back to school, you ask uh, our resource uh, person, Kenneth, you ask him whether he voted last year in the referendum and ask him, you decided to stay back as autonomous region of Papua New Guinea or get a uh, breakaway and get independence. When you come back during your breakdown, uh, your breakdown lockdown next week, you should ask him. Okay, let's go to the next uh, uh, slide. Okay, this was the result of the referendum conducted last year. The referendum conducted last year. What is a referendum? As you said, what is referendum? Referendum is a special type of vote, whether to decide to be, to get independence or to be part of a country, or to be a province or an autonomy region of a particular country or nation. Okay. The referendum election was done last year, 2019, between November 2010 and 7th December. And these are the results, these are the results this is a result of the so uh, this slide here. That's a good. Okay, that was, these are the results. 98.31% of the population of 181,000 uh, registered voters voted for independence. Bogan Williams voted for independence and 1.69% voted for great autonomy. Great autonomy means be part of Papua New Guinea, they will be part of Papua New Guinea, but there's an autonomy uh, as a autonomy, or autonomy um, region of Papua New Guinea. So with the results, there is evident about 98% and 1% decides that they should get independence. And only 1.69% voted to be out of Papua New Guinea as a great autonomy. The total uh, vote casted was 181,067 votes. So, all in all, the United Nations, the Transit Council acknowledged that Bobby Williams voted for independence. Therefore, now the ball is set uh, with the government of Papua New Guinea, with our uh, parliament, parliament composed of 109 uh, members. So PNC government will meet to debate on the results of the referendum and legally and formally facilitate the independence and continuing support in their managing a uh, sovereign independence nation. So here, uh, this year is 2020. Either this year, or at the end of this year, next year, it is the responsibility of the government of Papua New Guinea, the 111 MPs, will debate, to a good debate, whether 
to let Pavanin go upon the results of the Babanunas themselves, saying that we want to depart from Papua New Guinea and get independence. In that scenario, when our parliament again debate and vote, and the majority of MPs agree with themselves and by like, enforce that, okay, if the Bogan unions try to depart and have the independence, then we should give them. If most MPs, 75% uh, of our MPs voted for Bogan to get independence, then we should, we Papua Guineans will give them independence set dates and set a date and give them independence when the times is right. But on the other end, if 75 or more MPs, our MPs, voted not to give independence, even though they decide to give independence, already the uh, results of that, but if our parliament decide otherwise, then, uh, then there will be a problem. But uh, the mother country has uh, prerogative to decide to give independence or not to give independence, but might cause another bogey crisis upon the decision of our parliament. Is it correct? Okay, with that, any, any questions? Questions on autonomy, referendum, and the results that came out of the referendum that was conducted last year. Oh, you should remember this day, November 23rd to December 7th. There was a referendum. Maybe it might come in a national exam because uh, the uh, question from national exams composed of recent uh, events. Uh, question from uh, recent events. Any questions? No, Mister. Oh, okay. No. No, no Mister. Okay. Send between re referendum, autonomy. Okay, let's be explained a bit on autonomy. So, if Balkan Williams decide, or sorry, if uh, majority of people decide that there should be. Uh, great autonomy, then it will be more, they will have more power than the pro provincial government system we have. In the provincial government system, how many provinces we have, including Bogotá? At the moment, we have around two, yeah, 22 provinces, 22 governors, and how many districts we have in Papua New Guinea? 89 districts. 89 districts, 89 huh? plus 22 provinces equals? It's, it's 111. 111. 111 piece, which make up the, the legislative arm of government. Okay, so the provinces are so much for the control or remote control of the national government is, uh, is far as the governance system, current governance, governance system is concerned. Okay, in the great economy, you have more power than the provisional government system, provisional government system. But the Bogonian has already went past that and they decide to get independence. So therefore, we, we uh, uh, some might say we don't have a choice, but some might say, yeah, uh, Parliament has the last one to make decisions. So we pray and hope that the Parliament will write this in, in, uh, in, uh, in, um, in reference to the result that is there, the wish of the broken millions. So now, if independence is given, then the broken millions should go campaign presidential system and they should have their own government system, but we Papua New Guineans, like, uh, they are a child, so we continue to support and maintain and support them in their social, political, and economic affairs. Uh, okay. Any, 
Any questions? No questions. That's on bone autonomy. Uh, autonomy. Uh, let's uh, go back to the cell line. What does this mean? That's the cell line and autonomy. And then, okay, are you all there? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <clears throat> any, any, uh, let's uh, go back to the crisis, the crisis that uh, at Bokumil. What was, uh, according to President Smona, in, in the documentary that we saw on, what was the name of the documentary? The uh, coconut. coconut. Yes. What's it? What? Uh, what about coconut? coconut revolution. Good. Coconut revolution. Coconut. Coconut revolution. Okay. What was the <coughs> revolution? Or sometimes it is regarded as uh, eco revolution. Eco comes from the word. Eco comes from the word ecology. Good ecology. What is ecology? Ecology. It's about everything that is in environment. They said that we fight for our environment, our land. Okay, let's go back to the three. Uh, that, that is the three main reasons that friends Sona said they were fighting for land. Reason. Land. Okay, one is land and environment. Land and environment. What's the first one? The man land and, and environment. Men and land. Men and land. They are culture. Culture. Right? And the second one is mm -hmm. was men land and environment. Great. Environment. Men and land. Environment. And the last one. Independence. Independence. Oh. Independence. Yes. Independence. These are the three main reasons why the BRA, the rebel group, the BRA, before that, they were PLA. I'm going to land on this association, the demand, but they can, the company, the government cannot uh, give into the demand. So they formed BRA before, and these are the main, three main reasons that uh, they fought. So men and the culture, talk about the women culture and the place that they are. And men and environment, because land is environment is their lifeline, as Melanesians. You know that land is something vital for our existence, existence and subsistence. You know what? Uh, land. And independence. So independence, of course, people voted. The Bangladesians voted even though uh, Prince Sona died. When did the Prince Sona uh, die? What year? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I lost. No, did we show? Um. So, Prince Sonnet died in the year 2005. 2005, I think it's 2005, 6. So, April 2000, yeah, let's say 2005. Idea. So this dream of Bogoru to be an independent state is achieved through the results of the referendum that is done. So we fought a winning fight and we need to